three games tomorrow. Texans going to Detroit, followed by Washington, Dallas, and then the nightcap, the Steelers and the Ravens. Some props for the games. Most passing yards for the day. Deshaun Watson or the field? Ooh. Any of the other quarterbacks? Well, I mean, to me, it's that game, though. It's Deshaun Watson or Matt Stafford. It's one of those two. I mean, first off, both defenses can't defend the pass, so there's issues there. Um but you can't pick the lion. I, I'm going to Sean Watson. I'm taking him over the field. I am the way he played last week. The really the way he's played here as of late. And you know, they seem to have gotten something together on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah. I'm going to take him against that lions team. That, this is the kind of game to Sean Watson. It might be, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. I think he could take over, you know, it's just not enough talent in that front to contain him and do things just like we saw last week, a little with the Patriots. And then his throwing is as good as it gets. So I'm going to go with him. When you're not really playing for anything, this becomes kind of a bowl game, right? Yeah, it does. Thanksgiving Day, right? Lifelong dream. This is the only thing that still stands out on the schedule other than sliding into spoiler mode in December, which yeah, yeah. it's not as this fun as bigger. feeling like you're in a big right. spot on a big day and you want to perform for everybody who's home watching. That's right. And and I'm, I, I want to disagree with you just – to make it interesting, but I'm looking at the other names and it's like, yeah, how who can I credibly say would right. have more passing yards than Deshaun Watson, given the circumstances they're going to, to face on Thursday. All right. The most rushing yards. Let's do the same thing. Ezekiel Elliott of the Cowboys or the field. Well, this is a little more complex here. First off, you know, Ezekiel Elliott and that, that Washington defense, come on now. I mean, that, that Washington front is the real deal. I, you know, I don't know if, you know, just the, the common fan, the Washington defense is a top 10 defense in football. It's pretty damn special that way. Uh, I, I think, no, I, I'm not, I'm going with the field on this one. I'm not going to pick Ezekiel. Elliott. First off, I think the running back on the other side of the ball for the, the, the Washington team could have a big day and Antonio Gibson against that, that Dallas defense. And I'm not going to forget Gus Edwards and the Ravens either. I mean, let's not forget Gus Edwards and the Ravens and all them, they, like, what was it, 250, 60 yards the last time they played Pittsburgh as far as running the ball? So I could see him having a big day too. Um, so I'm going with the field on this one. I'm not going with Zeke. Yeah, I am too, and it may be some names we're not even thinking about. You just never know who's going to pop up and be the star on Thanksgiving. It could be Lamar Jackson. Yeah, it, Who it knows? definitely could be. You're right. There's no doubt. No doubt. Okay. Most receiving yards for Thanksgiving, Will Fuller at Detroit, Terry McLaurin at Dallas, or Deontay Johnson against the Ravens. I guess there are others that would be candidates, but let's just focus on those three. Yeah, all three. I mean, all three are going to have unbelievable opportunities. Uh, that's for sure. And, you know, the, the, the football team, Washington, you know, their main focus in the past game is to get Terry McLaurin the ball. He's the only guy that really scares you of their group. Fuller is going to have matchups. Detroit plays a lot of man-to-man. -man. And Deontay Johnson against Baltimore, man, he's going to get a lot of man-to-man -man on an island with Marlon Hump Humphrey or, or Marcus Peters type looks either, as well. I'm going to go with Will Fuller. I am. Um, I want to – Terry McLaurin is the best of the bunch. McLaurin is one of those guys that really probably needs to be talked about as a top 10 receiver in football. Uh, but I guess I get scared of that just a little bit because Alex Smith can be not the best deep ball thrower, not be aggressive that way. And I think I'll go with Fuller because of Watson and that poor Lions defense. Fuller, I should say. Yeah. 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 I, I just I can't put I – can't, I can't, with Fuller, I'm, I'm just always worried about when he's going to get injured. I'll, I'll go McLaurin just because uh, he's on both of my fantasy teams, not that anyone cares, but well, I'm always pulling for Terry McLaurin this year. Well, yeah, I mean, he's fun to watch. He really is. I mean, he's he's one of those guys like we talk about Tyree Kill and DK. I mean, there's there's three rockets up his butt. It's not two. It's three. I mean, he can fly. And, you know, you look at Deontay Johnson, what he's doing for the Steelers, you know, to your point with what you just said with the running backs, with the Steelers, it's hard. You know, you don't know in a game like this. You know, last time, what Chase Claypool didn't didn't he had a, a handful of touchdowns against the Ravens? You know, could, Chase Claypool could be the guy. You just don't know who that's going to be in Pittsburgh right now. It's kind of what makes them cool. They have a few guys who, you know, can step up to the plate on a given week. I just have to ask what? because I had heard the phrase "rocket up his butt" before before working with you. It's a football term. You're the one that's expanded it to two or three are you on like a star system they're like what's the maximum 
I is think it four. Is it five or is it just no? Three? I think three. Three is only for a special group. That's like you know the Daryl Green, Deion Sanders, Terry McLaurin, you know Tyree Kill, the special guys that you'd go. They could be the fastest in football. Though those guys have three rockets up their butt. Guys like DK Metcalf maybe and Jalen Ramsey. They only got two, even though they can fly. It's only two. <laughs> All right. Well, now that I understand that, I'll be on the yeah. lookout for the players who qualify for the triple, triple rocket triple in threat. the uh, in or and or up the butt. All right. Which team will score the most points on Thanksgiving? Points bet has the over unders at Houston twenty seven, Detroit twenty four, Washington twenty one and a half, Dallas twenty four and a half, Baltimore nineteen and a half, and Pittsburgh twenty four and a half. Who do you think will score the most? I, I mean, I, I hate to say it again. It's just I, I look at Houston as being the team that's going to put up points uh, more, more than not. Yeah, I, I have a hard time not going anywhere else. I just can't trust Dallas quite yet that way. Washington, we know they play a certain style. And then Baltimore and Pittsburgh, with as good as their defenses are and things like that, you know, it, it's hard. So there, yeah, I'm going to go with Houston once again. I don't want to give in too much to recency bias, although I seem to all the time. But if the Lions were just shut out 20 to nothing by a former Houston Roughnecks F XFL quarterback, <laughs> right. I think the current Houston Texans NFL quarterback will have his way with that team. And it just feels like the Lions currently are teetering a little bit. So I agree with you. I think the Texans will score the most points. I, it's amazing the superlatives we're heaping on a team that has a record of 3-7 and seven and seems to be mired in dysfunction. That's what beating the Patriots will do for you. All of a sudden, people view your franchise differently. I'm going to go off the board. I got one more prop. Okay. Who? Okay, tonight, who smashes more fruit and or gourds is it mccarthy with watermelons or is it ron rivera with pumpkins he suggested yesterday he may smash some pumpkins tonight to get his guys fired up as an answer to what mike mccarthy did over the weekend when he went gallagher with a sledgehammer on watermelons oh uh so you want to know who's gonna do more there who's gonna who's, do more damage who's tonight do more to get damage. the team fired up rivera or mccarthy i'm going with mccarthy i'm going with mccarthy here i think mccarthy is like you know probably at a boiling point anyways with just all the crap that's gone on well yeah i'm gonna still go with him just trying to get his team motivated to play all those type of things i'll go with him smashing more watermelons oh god i forgot jack del rio is currently on the washington staff please a ron if 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 he brings in a tree stump tell him get that thing the hell out of here no chopping wood in the locker room that did not end well if you recall chris Chris Hansen, punter for the Jaguars, decided after Del Rio put a tree stump, a real tree stump in the locker room with an ax in it, inviting the players to chop wood as a literal example right. of the keep chopping wood mantra for the season. Chris Hansen, the punter of the team, chopped his leg with the the uh uh, axe. How does that uh, didn't happen? Didn't chop it off, I know. but <laughs> uh, he did a serious laceration to his leg while trying to chop the the. Uh, tree like stump. really? So how do you do please. that? I, I got to get the scouting report on that. We need to maybe call Chris Hansen. He seems like a good guy. He might give us the actual. I mean, it, how do you miss this? I don't know. I don't even know. How well, do you get in the position to hit your own leg with an axe? You may be surprised by this, but I've swung an axe or two in my time. Yeah. It has a lot of weight at the end, and right. once it goes, it goes, and you can't stop it. So you think he just lost control and something like that? I think that he just happened. lost control of it, and it, it swings like a pendulum, or as you used to say, pendulum, from your wrist. Sounds good. And it just goes. <laughs> okay. It just goes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.